Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to show you a broadcast quality shotgun microphone from our friends at Deity that includes a ton of advanced features and produces some of the cleanest audio that I've found on a shotgun microphone. The product is the VMic D3 Pro, and I've been using it for about a year, and it's quickly become my favorite microphone, whether I'm recording out in the field or I'm recording here in the studio. Now, I'll get into all of the features that make this a special microphone in a minute, but I always like to start with an unboxing first, just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll run through the specifications, but more importantly, I want you to understand why those specifications matter, because Deity's the kind of company that's constantly looking at the products that are out in the market and trying to find ways to improve their own products and make them a little bit better than the other products that are out there in the field. And that's exactly what they've done with this. So as I go through some of these features, they may seem like small things, but they really make a big difference when you're out there in the field trying to record audio. So let's get started with the unboxing. So when you first pop open the box, you'll find this really nice carrying case that's big enough to hold the microphone and all the accessories you'll need to use it out there in the field. Now I know, again, that seems like a small thing, but a lot of other microphones you buy will show up in a cardboard box and you open them up and you can use them out there in the field. But when you're done recording for the day, where are you going to put them? You're going to throw them in your kit bag. They're going to bounce around in there. They're going to get banged up against other things, and you're going to damage the mic over time. So having a case that's custom made to hold the microphone, and more importantly, all the accessories, means I can protect the microphone, and I always know where all the cables and connectors are that I need to use the microphone out in the field. I can grab the case, head out the door, and have everything I need to do audio recording on the run. Also included is a quick start guide that's both Chinese and English. So <laughs> Probably read the English one, but if you really want to challenge, try and read the Chinese text in there. But it tells you everything you need to know about the microphone. And believe me, there's a lot going on with this microphone, from the stepless gain knob to the low-pass filters or the low-cut filters. So you want to read through that to produce the best quality audio you can with the microphone. You'll also find a registration card and an authorization card. And, and this proves that you've got a Deity product because there's a lot of stuff on the market that's kind of, kind of interesting and kind of gray market. So knowing you have a product that was made by the company you expected it to be made by is really important. So always look for that little card. All right, so let's open up the box. Now, I like the case because it's crush proof, which means the mic's totally protected inside there. Nice zipper on the side there. I've got a handle on the top so I can carry it around if I went like this. But really where I use this is I have a large kit bag that I take out in the field with all my audio gear and video gear, and it's just, everything's in there. I can throw this in that bag and know that it's not gonna bang around inside there and damage the mic. So when I open it up, you'll see that it's custom formed for the microphone. It also includes two cables. You've got a connection cable here between the microphone and whatever you're using to record on, and this is a TRRS cable. Now, I'll explain why that's cool in a minute, but nice, you know, springy cable here, so it's easily long enough to reach from the microphone to your camera, your phone, or your laptop, whatever you're recording on, it's great. And it's got that DD yellow, that's their key color. You'll also find a charging cable. That's a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, and you might be wondering why they give you a charging cable. Well, the microphone is powered, it's got a 320 milliamp hour light bulb battery inside of it. You can charge that using any standard USB charger. You can charge it off your phone. You can charge it off a car charger. And once it's charged, get this, 50 hours of use. So <laughs> charge it up, go out in the field. You can record for days and never have to worry about it running out of power. So that's kind of cool. Now the microphone itself is a pretty standard shotgun mic. It's got a dead cat on it. You've got that nice long linear recording uh, unit on the front of it there. It's got a Rycoach shock absorber on it. So if it's on your camera and you're moving the camera around, you're not gonna pick up all the vibrations on it. I like the dead cat slides right over the top of it. That's pretty cool. So you can knock down a lot of the wind noise when you're in the field. It acts as a pop filter as well. You'll notice it's a little bit shorter than a lot of the shotgun mics that I use today. And it's a little more compact. I like that a lot. On the bottom, you'll find a standard cold shoe mount. You can slide on the top of your camera as well as a quarter inch 20 right there. So I could use it on a tripod. Most of the time it's on top of a camera that I'm doing run and gun videos out there in the field. But every now and then I'm doing an interview or I've got, you know, I've got a tripod set up where it's off to the side. It works great both ways. Now, one advantage I will tell you about this is that by their nature, shotgun microphones are really designed to pick up audio right in front of the microphone. So that's perfect if you're talking to a camera like I am now where it's on top of the camera. But the challenge is with most of the shotgun microphones, if you move a little bit off center, so if I move a little bit off center either side of the microphone, it starts attenuating that audio. So it sounds great now, but if I reach over here for something, the audio drops off. And when you get into editing, I notice that and I've got to crank it up. So that means more work in the editing bay to get that audio consistent across the video. With this one, it's got a very, very wide 
what I'll call audio field of view, for lack of a better term. But essentially, the shotgun microphone, most of the manufacturers have a really narrow band of what it'll pick up, and it rejects audio from either side, certainly rejects audio behind it, which is a good thing. But you want to have a little wider field of view, because that way, if I'm at a desk like this, it sounds perfect in front, if I reach this way, it sounds great, sounds great over here. If I get too far outside of it, I want it to attenuate it because I don't want to pick up noise from outside that, that area where I'm recording. This does a wonderful job of doing that. It also has a couple other cool features on the back, and this is something they call out in the actual uh, brochure, is it's a gain knob, right? A lot of microphones have gain knobs on them. It's important for you to be able to adjust the audio level of the microphone to compensate for your camera. And of course you can adjust it in your camera as well. You can recut, adjust it in, in uh, editing later on. But I love the fact that I've got this gain knob on the back and the thing they brag about, which is an innovation, is that it's stepless. And what that means is a lot of other microphones have gain adjustments, but they may be fixed, meaning 10%, 20% or in dB, it'll go up by 10 dB, 20 dB. With this one, you've got a complete stepless knob. So you can turn it, it's analog, you can turn it up a little, turn it up a lot, turn it up halfway. You've got complete control over it. Man, I gotta tell you, this knob feels really good too. I know that sounds weird, but it's got a real good feel to it, a nice detent on it. So stepless gain knob on the back. It also has a low cut filter, both 75 hertz and 150 hertz. So if you've got a lot of booming voice, maybe you got a head cold or something, and you want to cut out some of that rumble at the bottom, or you got a lot of wind noise or trucks rumbling by, you can turn that on to either be 75 hertz or 150 hertz right on the microphone. Now, a couple other cool features, and this is important. When you're using a microphone like this that uses a three and a half millimeter audio cable, if you're using it on a DSLR camera, a DSLR camera uses a TRS connection, which is tip ring shield, and that's a three, three ring connector. Um, and what's challenging is this microphone has a four ring connector, which is TRRS, which is typically used on a computer or a phone or something like that where you're recording stereo. Well, how am I gonna use this with my DSLR? Well, the truth is the microphone is smart enough that when I plug it in, if I plug it into my camera, it knows that it has to be TRS and it makes the adjustment. If I plug it into a laptop that needs a TRRS connection, it knows that that's TRRS and it makes the adjustment for that. So it's smart enough to know what I'm plugging it into and makes the adjustment for me automatically. That's a major hassle with a lot of other microphones where you have to carry two different cables with you, whether you're using it on a laptop or using it on a DSLR. And I can promise you, when you're out there in the field, especially if you don't have a case like this, you're gonna end up in the field with the wrong cable and then you can't use the microphone. So I love the fact that you can use one cable and the microphone is smart enough to actually make the adjustment for you. Another cool thing, it's got a 320 milliamp hour battery internally, which is a lithium polymer cell. Once you fully charge that again, up to 50 hours of recording, but the microphone is smart where it'll turn on when your camera turns on and turn off when your camera turns off. How many times have you brought a microphone out in the field that didn't have that feature, that smart sensing feature, and you turn it on, you're recording for a while, you go off, you have lunch, you come back, you've turned your camera off, but you come back and the microphone's dead because you didn't turn off the microphone. Well, with this one, it's got automatic turn on, turn off, so that's pretty cool. So those are some of the features the microphone provides. And again, I just love how small it is, how compact it is. The audio quality in this thing is phenomenal. And I own a lot of Rode products, I own a lot of Sennheiser products, and a bunch of other microphones as well. Again, this one has become my favorite mic because it's my go-to mic. It's small enough, it's got a great field of view for the audio. It's got this stepless gain control in the back, which I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> when I'm making that adjustment, I may play with it a little longer than I should because it feels so good. And I like the uh, low cut filter as well. So that's pretty much it for the mic. Now, I do want to show you what it sounds like compared to a standard Rode mic. I've got a Video Mic Pro uh, Rode mic up here right now that I'm recording off of. So this is standard audio for what the Rode mic can produce. I've got a dead cat on it, and it's about three feet away from my mouth when I'm talking right now. In a second, what I'm going to do is switch over to the VMic D3 Pro so you can see the difference between the two microphones. So let me give you a little test pattern here. Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is the Rode Video Mic Pro. Now I'll switch over to the Deity VMic D3 Pro. Now you're hearing me through the Deity VMic D3 Pro, and I've set the gain knob on the microphone about halfway up. I've also adjusted the audio recording level in the camera to be the same for both microphones, which should make it really easy for you to compare one against the other and decide for yourself which of the two sounds best to you. Now there are two more things that I'd like to point out, and I don't want to call these negatives, but anytime I do a review, I always like to really put a product through its paces, and if I notice something, I like to include that in the review. So the first thing has to do with the mounting. 
If you're going to use this microphone with your camera on the cold shoe, it's going to work perfectly. You slide it into the cold shoe. There are two adjustment discs on the actual Rycode mount. The bottom one you can tighten down to keep the mount on the camera. The top one adjusts the position of the microphone so you get it perfectly facing your subject. Tighten that up and it's never going to move. The challenge is with the quarter inch 20 on the bottom. It tends to be really deep. And what I mean by that is most tripods are going to work just fine. But if you've got an attachment like a clamp mount or something else where you're trying to strap it to a pole or whatever, and it's got a really short stud on it, it may not reach the threads. And in that case, you'll just have to use an extension. It worked fine with all my tripods, but a couple of my clamp mounts, it was just a little bit too deep inside that actual mount where I couldn't catch the threads on it. But not a big deal. I used an extension and it worked great. And the second thing has to do with any microphone that's rechargeable. This microphone has a LiPo battery inside of it. You'll charge it at home, you'll take it out in the field, and you can use it up to 50 hours. The challenge is, if you forget to charge it, or you're out in the field a long time, maybe you run out of power. Now, if you're using a microphone that has an internal battery that you can pop out, you can pop a fresh battery in and continue to record. With a rechargeable mic, you're kind of out of luck. Now here's a little hack you can use with this particular microphone, and I've done this a lot out in the field where I've forgotten to charge it, or maybe I'm recording for way longer than I expect it to, and I get down really low on the battery power. Because it charges through a USB-C connection, if you have a portable battery bank with you, maybe a 10,000 milliampere hour battery bank, you can connect it up to the microphone and actually charge it while you're using it. So what I do is to tie a little loop in the cable, hang it on the tripod, plug the USB-C into the microphone, plug the USB-A into the power bank. I can record forever at that point. So just a little hack there for you. But that's one challenge. And if you forget to charge it and you get out in the field, boy, that can be frustrating because the mic's no good because it's got no juice inside of it. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I like this microphone an awful lot. You can tell I'm excited about it. And again, I use a wide variety of products. I've got Row, I've got Sennheiser, I've got a bunch of different products. But this one in particular... Uh, this VMic D3 Pro has just been my go-to mic. I find myself reaching for it more often than I do the other microphones. I like it an awful lot. It's incredibly simple to use. It's got a lot of advanced features, a lot of adjustments you can make, and I think you're going to like it as well. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions about the microphone or anything I've covered today, drop those in the comments below. I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. I love talking about technology. So if there are other products you want me to review on the channel, drop those in the comments below and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. I've got so many more products that we're going to be reviewing over the next couple of weeks. I've got drones, portable power stations, microphones, audio recording gear, stabilized gimbals. You name it, we're touching it. And like I always say, if it runs on electrons, I'll test it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a nerd at heart, and I love talking about technology. So thanks an awful lot for watching. Oh, I almost forgot. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button down there. What are you waiting for? we got so much cool stuff coming. You're not going to want to miss any of it. So hit that button and join the Drone Valley family. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks an awful lot for watching. And until next time, <laughs> happy flying. Mm -hmm.